Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack finale of Monarch. We are here. Seems like that was pretty fast, but time flies just in general. Not even when you're having fun, it just flies in general. Oh, yeah. Um, last week's episode, by far the best, mm -hmm. to, in my opinion. Yeah. I think we, we agreed on that. It's, it's definitely up there for me, if not my, my favorite of the season. It was really, really good. I just felt... To me, and we talked at length about this last week, so I don't have to spend too much on it this week. But to me, it was like, man, every character had their shining moment in that episode. Yeah. Like, obviously, Kurt Russell shined the entire show. Our boy Tim has shined the entire show. Uh, Kate has kind of been hit or miss. That's her name, right? Kate? Yeah. Uh, and then Keiko's been great when she's been on screen. And then we get the big reveal that she's still alive. Like, that was awesome. But yeah. the big thing was uh kintaro really getting like a personality somebody in our comments from the episode last week said wow it took them nine episodes to give kintaro a personality like yeah that's weird but man did they hit like on 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 the head with with all his writing that episode and the actor behind it delivered and to me it was just like hands down best of the show so yeah it, it took quite a while of uh of just kind of general stoicness from him yeah but like he, he totally just exploded last episode he yeah he kind of like lost it finally came to a head uh and it was really really good to see mm -hmm. uh, you know get uh, letting him express himself more that in that sense right um but yeah lots of lots of amazing character moments lots of cool world building going on Got a little bit of everything in this episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that end reveal that Keiko's still alive. I started to see it coming halfway through, and then when it hit, it was like, oh, man. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Yeah, I, I don't know that I had seen it coming, per se, but it makes, like, a tremendous amount of sense to, like, kill her off in episode two, but keep her in the show. Like, it just made too much sense. And then when you factor in, like, Hollowed Earth and everything... Mm -hmm. It is interesting how she just fell straight up raw, no sub or transportation device. She just falls straight in. I, I, I'm yeah. interested to see how they explain that. Well, that, that's been the interesting thing that I've been kind of seeing other people's reactions throughout the week and the consensus that also I realized when I was thinking back on Godzilla vs. Kong as well is that the time dilation thing was not a thing in Godzilla vs. Kong at all. Um, mm -hmm. So the, the, the idea, I think, is that this place that they're at in Hollow Earth right now, Exus Mundi, is like almost like an in-between pocket dimension or something that's between okay. the normal Earth level and the actual Hollow Earth. Seems a little, little funky, but sure, I'll, I'll roll with it, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. But it, it's provided a, an interesting narrative device, I think, which is what's kept me intrigued. Mm -hmm. And it's really just been uh really good i mean there's been some low points in this uh season mm -hmm. which weren't even bad they were just slow but i yeah. think it's been you know full steam ahead right to this finale in the last couple episodes um and so you know the thing i'm really looking forward to is hopefully getting some answers this episode and hopefully getting maybe a little godzilla sighting here Oh, I'm uh, sure we haven't seen him since it. episode six. And so we've talked about how it's not for us. We're not so desperate for, you know, Gojira, but yeah. it's certainly nice and exciting when we do get to see him. Oh, and yeah. I think n now would be a great time um, for that to happen. And I also think we're going to be uh, set up for a season two here. That's my it's been my hard read. And I'm sticking by it, sticking yeah. by my guns. That's my my main curiosity with this episode. I mean, we have we have a lot of questions to be answered, uh, but my main thought is like, all right, feels like this is going to lead into a season two. Something's going to be unresolved. My question is like, how much are they going to actually leave? Yeah, yeah leave, leave up for next season because we have a, a lot of stuff. Like they're still stuck in Hollow Earth. Keiko has just been revealed, so that's a whole revelation that's going to have to happen with Kate and everything uh yeah she's gotta find shaw and may so yeah, lots of stuff 
Um, and not to mention everything left unresolved on Earth. Like, you know, yeah. her son's there. <laughs> Kentaro's oh, gosh, up there. Yeah. Tim's up there. Like, there, there's, a, there's a lot. And, mm-hmm. and I think my hard read since the beginning has been we're getting to season two. Like, Apple wouldn't put this kind of money in a, a, a one-season show. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I think that's all we need to talk about. Yeah. So before we get into this, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when any of our uploads go live. We will have more monster content coming to the channel eventually, since this is the end of Monarch, if you've been along for that ride. Don't worry, we're not going to forget about you guys. We got uh, Minus One will eventually make its way to the channel. Maybe we'll get the other guys to watch uh, the Monsterverse. We'll see. Uh, It's kind of going to depend on if they announce like a season two for this. Um, But... Trust me, we'll take care of you with at least minus one. And we have a Patreon account where you can get full length reactions to all of Monarch and everything else on the channel, as well as early access to other shows like Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Attack on Titan. So check that link out in the description below. And there's links to join our free Discord and links to our social medias. So click all those and let's get into this reaction. Cool, let's do it. Straight back in. Yeah. I wonder if she's going to recognize her. I know, she's, she's seen that one photo of her in the footprint. I think is like... At least all that we know she's seen. Can you walk? <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? Titan Fireflies. I'm... I'm Kate. Well, how did you get here? Say the last name. <laughs> Bill Randa? Oh, no. Lee Shaw. We, we have to go back. How, how long has she been Lee here? Too, and how I old know. he is? How long is she... This time thing is weird. Uh, she's been down here, I want to say six, 59 maybe, was when they first went to Kazakhstan and she fell. Yeah. I want to say, I don't know. How long has she been down here in her mind? That's what I want to oh, know. Oh, I can't imagine that long then, yeah, because she's like the same age roughly. Shaw didn't make it seem like it was that long of a time at least. It's not your theory. So funny to see this parallel between him calling Shaw crazy (laughs) and now seeing him. He spends this whole show throwing maps. Mm. Still dropping bars. <laughs> You're not part of a rescue party, are you? you didn't expect no, I'm actually your granddaughter. <laughs> I know, I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the the bomb to be dropped. This will be the bomb. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> she still got it drawn. Oh, he's not even showing himself. It's me, Kay. By my estimation, 57 days. Why? Mm. Yeah. So a day is a Why year? Are you hiding from me? Oh, roughly, I guess, yeah. And that... That was 33... Three years ago. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's, that's gut wrenching, man. Shout out to the score going crazy, by the way. Mm hmm. So then ask about her kid. Oh yeah. He's fine. He's fine. He's okay. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Who are you? I'm your granddaughter. <laughs> oh. This is really cool like grief and sadness and joy and relief I know at the same time I like my emotions are everywhere yeah what if the three could save the seven billion 
It's asking the real questions. Alive down there. Otherwise, Shaw was right about us. <laughs> definitely right about you. He's either gonna get fired or a promotion. <laughs> I need you to think very carefully about the next words you're gonna say. Fired. A family man. He followed in your lies. He's so much of a family man, he's got two of them. <laughs> Couldn't get enough. Is he happy? <laughs> Why don't you ask him that yourself? Oh boy. <laughs> Leaving? He's just packing his things? Like, looks like he got fired. <laughs> I'm just impressed at the, the memorization skills to, to get that down pat. You mind if I do? <laughs> what are you doing here? Tim's like, come here I'm often. I might find you here. What am I supposed to do with it? I don't know what any of this means. No, you don't. But your father might. But your daddy does. <laughs> you look exactly as you've always looked. In my mind's eye, all these years, exactly. <laughs> the Riz? The Riz. Question mark. <laughs> he uh, he never came back. Got killed by a giant monkey. But he did it, Kay. You know they got a phone that does everything, and it's. Uh... Oh hey, we went to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Same old world. Can't wait to show Same you my Instagram. People, <laughs> conflicts. There's this app called Vine. <laughs> but, you know. but she doesn't know about G Day. That feels like it'd be too much to break into her. Like, oh yeah, by the way, Monarch didn't even get to stop a huge Titan battle speaking of kids, from destroying a city. I should check in on ours. So. Tim, what are you doing here? <laughs> Everybody loves Tim. Your father. Everyone knows Tim. Everyone I loves him. I always appreciated you. No way, no, we're not getting a season two. No, with something like this. I know, I, like, how far are we into this? I feel like there's... And that's why I quit. We haven't even made progress toward getting them out. Monarch isn't the only game in town. Oh? So I got a partner with, with uh, Apex. Oh, is okay. this where, uh, it's where Lee yeah. crash landed before? Gotta be kidding me. Wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. I guess when it's only been like two months down there, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I guess it could still work. I'm staying behind. What? I had a bad feeling that she was gonna try to. Lily's gone. No. Oh, come on. She's your granddaughter. <laughs> Might be a little take, soon. Took her off the radar. What is it? Or I feel like Lee's about to kick the bucket. I wonder. It's gonna be Gojira. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. He didn't buckle his seatbelt. Yeah. Man, I really want Kurt Russell in this show still. I know. No. Hang on, dude. Just just stay up there for a second, please. Dude. Don't leave the show, man. Come on. Oh. I'm finna bust. <laughs> what are you doing trying to leave? Get, get back in there. We bought a box. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, buddy, you're not tall enough to ride this ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Here we go. Whoa, it's got like an acid Ew. He, he He's gonna... 
He's about Come to on. glass him. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, now no, he's come screwed. On, get back in. Just hold on for dear life. Oh, this is... No way, dude. Come on, man. I want Kurt Russell to stay around so badly. Uh. Close that door, dude. Close that door. Uh. Man. Dude, uh. Yeah, they're literally just in like a separate dimension. Why, why are they at like a landing pad with people there? Oh, do you think they, uh. figured out their signal so they knew where they'd uh, show up or something? Where are we? Are they in the future, dude? What year is it, dog? I have a really weird feeling it's like jumped all the way to Godzilla vs. Kong or something. I know, there. that's what I'm thinking too. No. This isn't even the reunion I care about. I know. Oh. oh. I mean, it's happy, but it's also, like, heartbreaking. Yeah. Wow. Kentaro, I'd like you to meet our grandmother. <laughs> yeah, I guess he was completely confused. <laughs> As my brother. But we'd like to get you into medical. Oh. Yeah, it's, a, it's Apex stuff. Brenda. It's complicated. <laughs> A lot's changed in the past two years. Oh, man. Dude, what's Kate's mom thinking? Should we go? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I guess there is like two, two more. <laughs> what's it even matter in the grand scheme of it? Skull Island, what? Whoa. Is it Kong? What? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> I don't even that, I don't even understand how that fits in, but okay. That's nice. Man. All that's right. nice. All right. Well, oh boy. Okay. Ooh. That is a great ending. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so we're definitely getting a season two or something, right? Yeah. Like, you can't just leave them on Skull no. Island and be like, like, what? we're just gonna. <laughs> Man, okay. That was. That was really good. Yeah, that was that was a that was a real good finale. I mean, it's about everything that I would have hoped for, really. Aside yeah. from Shaw dying, I, I hoped he was going to stick around. I yeah, I to, mean, he's like the one guy that I would like really latch on to be like, all right, second season, more more Shaw stuff. But you know, it, it, his his character arc it's it's happened. done. Yeah, he, it, he it's wouldn't done. have anything more. It's like when they killed Brian Cranston in 2014. It's like his arc is technically over. Yeah, it sucks that he's gone. But like what else is he gonna do? Right. Uh but no, that was that was really good. That was um, fantastic. I I mean that's everything that I would have wanted. We got some good uh good Godzilla Titan action. We got a lot of interesting lore happening. We got some really amazing character moments. Shout out to to Keiko's actress. I don't I don't know her name, but Keiko was she was the star of this whole episode, for real. Yeah. Uh, I, I know her. Like, I just looked up her name, but it's slipping my mind. I'll get it now, though. Mary, Mary Yamamoto. Mary Yamamoto. She, um, yeah. Yeah, she was I mean, really good. I, if anything, 
more of her makes me happy as well in a second yeah. season, hypothetically. Um, oh. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's really interesting watching this unfold and, you know, figuring out all the little twists and turns that are going on. It's it's cool to have a, a, a big piece of, like, world-building stuff in this universe, I think. Everything's just, like, big, flashy movies now. But it's... it's I, I've really loved this show for just slowing down, letting us get to know people in this world and how everything yeah. in this uh, in the world of the Titans affects see, them. Seeing the impact of it. Yeah, you, you get to see the very, very small stories. Um, and this really wrapped that up incredibly perfectly. I've really enjoyed this show. I just... I'm really interested to see where we go from here. Yeah, like, I don't, plot-wise, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Apex being on Skull Island, at least to me, is like, what? <laughs> right. Since when was that a thing? Because right. Monarch is already on Skull Island as well. They they have a whole thing set up for, for Kong. Um, so I, I guess somewhere in that direction is where everything would go, which would be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would definitely want to, like learn more about these characters see if they start to like reacquaint themselves in the monarch like organization as a whole or if they're just trying to like splinter off into their own thing yeah i don't know um, i expected this to tie more into king of the monsters at the end of this season and not godzilla versus kong well yeah we, we were speculating the whole time that shaw was going to lead into the the eco terrorists yeah but that that never came to pass so it was instead just a lot of we just skipped that movie yeah, we skipped King of the Monsters. Uh, like, 2017 is when King of the Monsters takes place, right? No, it's, it's, it's still in 2019, so that's, like, in real time, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. And then Godzilla vs. Kong is in 2024, I think, and the next one is in 2027? Okay. So we, they're, they're jumping ahead now, but yeah. in-universe in where this show leaves off, we have two years still until King of the Monsters, so I think that's still... A lot of opportunity to set up stuff. You could start to set up Mecha Godzilla, the eco terrorists, whatever you want to do in that regard, which I think would God. be very interesting. It'll be very um, interesting to see how they get me to actually care about Mecha Godzilla because yeah. <laughs> even after these ten episodes, I still think that's the dumbest thing they could have ever done. Oh yeah. It, it's the fact that that wasn't built up in its own movie. I, I would hate to have to rely on like a second season of Monarch to really like um, yeah. get get into the idea of there being a mecha Godzilla in this universe but if that's what happens then so be it, it I if guess if that can get me to care yeah I mean like, I'll, like I'll we, be pleased uh, like I was already saying a couple episodes ago when we got the twist that may work for Apex that alone I was surprised at how you know e even just a little bit it was getting me to be like okay Apex interesting I kind of get their thing a little bit more not totally but i at least care more about it and it, it mm -hmm. softens some of the weird just suddenness of it all in godzilla versus kong uh a little bit uh so i mean they, they could do the same but yeah i would love to see them tackle some king of the monsters stuff if they're so close to that you could have like a, a year year and a half time jump between this and a season two and then we pick up with our characters in a, in a new scenario leading up into that movie's events or something, yeah. which would be pretty interesting, I think. I agree. I think there's a lot of potential mm -hmm. to expand on the momentum that they've created with this show. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just, I feel a certain way about GVK that I don't, I struggle to see that it will ever be changed. But yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever enjoy that movie, but my, my hope is if I can appreciate the world that movie takes place in a mm -hmm. little bit more, that, that'll be something. I've really enjoyed this show. Yeah. And they kind of stuck more with the 2015 vibe, uh, 2014, 2015, whatever year it is. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I mean, I, I can see that's probably where they're going to go with it. They're going to use it as like a Star Wars, the Clone Wars to the uh, prequel trilogy type vibe. In yeah. Bridging that gap. 
Yeah. Um, which I mean, it, the I'm Clone here for Wars it. really. Clone Wars really did a good thing for the prequels, yeah. I think. So I mean, this could be the the same thing, and I, I would be very very excited if that's the case. I mean, we don't even know for sure if there's a second season, but I feel like there has to be. This is like one of Apple's flagship shows. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to that. I will be um, absolutely shocked if this doesn't get renewed. Yeah. Between I mean, you know, what Apple has done mm -hmm. uh, with the promotion of this, how it's kind of been like their first really big flagship show for their streaming platform. Yeah. I will be at like same thing with Amazon and the Rings of Power. Um, right. As as much maligned as that first season was, there is no way you don't give it a second season. There's just no way. And that's the same thing yeah. here, especially because how how well this has been received. Yeah, I, that, that's the the interesting thing. Like so many people outside of the general Godzilla sphere that I, I've talked to, which might be like coworkers or just other people that I know, they're all pretty much like, yeah, it's, that's really good. Like, I don't really care about the Godzilla stuff, but I'm I'm I like the show. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, well, that's. I'm sure that's so much of a silent majority of people that watch this show, probably um that apple really takes into account versus you know for however many godzilla fans watch this show um and whether or not they like it i'm sure that the general audience is is hopefully enjoying it uh, uh, enough to where they would green light a, a whole second season yeah I'll, I'll be shocked man i mean yeah if you want to flame out after two seasons cool but you cannot flame out after one not know, with how it's, much it's... this has been how well this has been received and mm -hmm. there's just no way so yeah even even with the bumps this show has had i i still want to spend more time in this world i mean we could even meet a whole new cast of characters and i'd still be happy to to just ground myself more in this universe because I, I think it's got such a unique thing going on that mm -hmm. it, it, it'd be such a shame to waste it on just one season i agree yeah i concur well now I'm looking forward to minus one. And like we talked oh, yeah. about, I really I'm going to dip back into those MonsterVerse movies to watch them for the first time in a while because yeah, they're good. It's been a while for me and this has really got me in the mood. So, yeah. All right. Well, does that do it for Monarch? I think so. That's that's all the, the big points for me. I mean, there's there's plenty of small moments I could talk about, but the big stuff, this uh, the show really. It, it struck me exactly where i hoped it would right in that that 2014 sized hole in my heart that got mm -hmm. uh so sadly ripped away from me yep um and i i really hope we see more of it at a really good time well and my final point on it dude when you think about the fact that we just found out that apex is on skull island mm -hmm. just like monarch is on skull island there is there's just no way dog there is no yeah. way that they can't at least revisit this in a movie, but it it has to be a season two. There has to be. There's Ooh. no way. Okay, I, I the last point before we can we can end it. I, <laughs> the I just last had, last point. I had like a brain blast moment just now because I, I was thinking back and I remembered during the end credits of King of the Monsters when they're showing all like the news articles and and newspapers and stuff. There is a part where they talk about Monarch, quote unquote, building a like mechanical Titan on Skull Island. And everyone was really curious about that, but then they never touch on it in Godzilla vs. Kong. Mechagodzilla is just all the way off in Hong Kong. Okay. So, I mean, there's, there's something there. I, there's I something totally there. forgot that that was a... It's such a footnote uh, that, you know, everybody except the, the weirdos like me that, that pay too close attention to <laughs> stuff like that forget. Um, I mean, I even forgot it until just now. Um, yeah, so that that's... Okay, it's, it's tying together a little bit and yeah that even more so is like all right there's there's something there for a second season so all right that's that's actually it for me <laughs> all right well jake and i are in consensus uh, i mean this show was fantastic <laughs> slow points in the middle but that's okay yeah. uh I'll, I'll take that all day over like a four episode series that disney churns out i will take this all day so if you guys enjoyed this ride, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else on our channel. Like we mentioned at the beginning, there's other stuff planned. 
down the road, but the only way you don't miss it is on that noti bell. But also consider checking out some of the other stuff we got going on. We got Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Attack on Titan, plenty of stuff going on. So check out some other shows that might interest you as well. We have a Patreon where you can get the full length reaction and early access to select shows. That link's in the description below. There's a link to our free Discord and links to all our social medias. And yeah, we will hopefully see you guys very soon. See ya.